Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame D Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. About to uh, do what I do. But um, I just wanted to take a second and say thanks for everybody uh, logging on this morning uh, that's been, um, you know, uh, supporting the page in whatever way you support the page. It's uh, greatly appreciated. The information is getting out. Um, like I told y'all, man, uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do as far as promotion of the breed. We have a lot of work to do as uh, getting our thing redone, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? This thing has to be in order, you know? This thing has to be put together in a, in a fashion that's going to make our community take leaps and bounds forward. Um <clears throat> People have asked me, and I'm just going to go into this real fast. You know, um, we have gotten to that point now that uh, with the TBKC that we're actually going to launch now. We, we launching, you know. And um, what is my master plan for the TBKC? What is my master plan for the um, American Bully Breed? This is what I tell y'all. One of the reasons why, and uh, many of you who've been here have heard me say this, one of the reasons why I have taken a strong, strong stance on bringing in other breeds, uh, bringing in the Dogos, bringing in the uh, South African Borbos, bringing in, you know, all these other dogs, even the standard Poodle, is uh, for many variations of uh, their physical abilities, protection work, and different things like that, but also... Um, as standard bears uh, uh, for our community. And um, it's one of the things that uh, no matter what levels of uh, competition that you face, you always want somebody to come in and set the bar, somebody to make things a lot more difficult uh, for the other dogs, you know? And uh, in this case, dogs. And um, we as a community are so separated right now. What I hope to see you know, in our community uh, moving forward is I hope to see that as we go to shows and probably get our asses kicked from time to time uh, by some of these more established breeds, that we start to do a more unification thing to say, you know, we want to see the American Bully win. We want to see the American Bully compete at a level that is um, equivalent to the same things that the other dogs are, uh, are competing at, you know. And... Um, I, <laughs> for for people who have talked to me before, it's like, and <laughs> I, I, I equated it to prison, man, where, you know, in prison, you might have uh, black guys that don't like other black guys on the street, but when they go to prison, they have to be friends because, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's just the way prison runs. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you link up with people, you know what I'm saying, to try to uh, take care of your business. Well, we're in a prison setting in the bully world, in the dog world, to where, you know, I'm hoping that the community unites because some of these other breeds will push buttons and will raise the bar that the only way that we can win is by uniting and pushing our breed forward. Uh, there has to be a, a level of knowledge within our community to understand that we cannot win this race if we continue to breed unhealthy dogs, if we continue to push unhealthy dogs, if we continue to go in that fashion, we will not win. We have to get in that mindset. We have to push forward with the mindset that we are here to win, that we are here to do the right thing in this breed. I do believe that those of us who truly care about this breed will reach a point that we start to work with each other more like we used to. We start to really respect the standards, um, like we once did, as we continue to see, and, I, and I'm not saying it's a setup for all American bullies to lose, but I do think, you know, from being a judge, not an American bully guy or a breeder or whatever, from being a judge, I do believe that we are starting off trailing big time. So as we see quality, um, you know, Borbos and uh, Dogos and all these other dogs, as we see these quality dogs come in to our registry and we start to compete against those dogs in the open classes and different things like that, we will 
have a passion to see, you know, the dogs from the past, you know, who have been successful, like uh, Rest in Peace Mufasa or a bear, uh, the bear or, you know, uh, dogs who, who were who were uh, high quality championship level dogs confirmation period that could go in there and kick somebody's ass we're going to start to root for those dogs you know what i mean we're going to start to say damn man i'm rooting for the bully it's like when we watch westminster um when i watch westminster all the time the first thing i do is i root for the roddy i root for the Dobie. you know what i mean they never win but those are the dogs i root for because those are the dogs i like and i hope that you know by bringing in these other breeds um by sometimes, you know, uh, spotlighting these other breeds and bringing a level of competition up that the American Bully can, and I do believe will rise to the occasion to start to be able to compete at a high level against those other breeds. Uh, the division in our community is more so about money and people's wanting to try to make a, a dollar as fast as they can and not caring about our standards. Competition brings standards back to, uh, you know, to the forefront. And if it's a true fair competition, we will see uh, breeders start to push forward towards those standards and go for the win. And, that, and that's going to be a big thing for our community. And it could be the turning around of our breed, not only for the, um, you know, for the future of the breed and, and its ability to go forward and exist, but also uh, the public perception, you know, for, for the public to see our American bullies side by side with more respected breeds and doing their thing. And, uh, you know, that would be a huge step forward for what we're trying to do. And uh, y'all see it shortly here in the next couple months that this is what we're doing. We are inviting in a lot of breeds. We are catering to a lot of breeds. It's not that we're turning our back on the bullies, but we want to up that level of competition. And I hope that many of you are up for that challenge to bring in great dogs that can compete against these other dogs. Um, competition, competition breeds success and, and, it, and, it, and it breeds greatness. And hopefully that this... Um, more competitive environment will bring that along but that's part of our plan and uh hopefully y'all get what i'm saying and uh, hopefully a lot of y'all is going to be you know maybe that'll light the flame under your ass and we can go and kick some of these other breeds asses until next time y'all much love peace